when Senator Busey was in uh, Philadelphia. We did a wonderful session. It was really fun. Thank you for coming. Thank you for having me. We're broadcasting that as part of our Sense of Place Stockholm. But we told you we were coming. Yep, we and, were here. And we're showing up. Uh -huh. And um, where are we? Because I wish you to kind of center where we are. We're in Stockholm, but we're in a specific yes. part, right? We are in a part called Maria Torget, which is in the south part of Stockholm. And this cafe is called Melkvist. So it's been here for a while. And what's this area like? This area, I guess, is pretty, um, you know, young, kind of, I hate using the word hipster -y, but that's probably the most yeah. accurate one. Um, it's not the posh part of town, but it isn't the cheap part at all. No. Right, right, <laughs> at right. All. <laughs> well, I was noticing people walking down the street, and it seemed to, if we're gonna, if we're gonna say Brooklyn, uh -huh. it, it reflected a- It uh, might be, yeah. It, it reflected a lot of different aspects of that, too. A lot of, some older people and some- Yeah. Some. And why is this part of town uh, particularly important to you? I mean, I hang around here a lot. I have a studio that I go to that's just around the corner from ah. here. Actually, the owner of this cafe is one of the best friends to the producer of the, the music as well and stuff like that. So I, I don't, I've never lived here, or I did when I was really little, uh -huh. um, but I, I have a lot of friends that live here and I just tend to, I actually now when I, I just got myself kind of an apartment and I consciously stayed away from this part of town because I was like, it's gonna be a, I'm going to, too many people are going to come home, but I'm regretting it, of course. I'm going to move uh, back here. Okay. Yeah, I'm here all the time anyways. So. That's funny. Well, I, we should tell people where we've been sitting here, and as, as we sat here, Peter Bjorn and John walked by. Mm -hmm. and, yeah, uh, they did bring that here. Part of the show, and that's because there's a studio in here, too. Right, there's a studio that a lot of people from Ingrid, um, which is like Mike Snow, Likuli, and them, and stuff like that, hang out in there. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, where are you going to take us? Tell us where we're going. We're taking a little walk uh, by the water. Um, we take left when we come out of here and then we're going to pass the studio. It's not that much to see from the outside, but okay, I'll show right. you where that is. Then we're going to turn and start walking towards the center of the Capitol. And I'll show you, I'll point at the um, place where I performed for the first time. Ah, and then okay. we walk by the water. There's a big uh, museum and the castle. And then we're going to go to a park in town where I used to hang out with my dad a lot when I was a kid. So. I thought that's a good little walk. That it's sounds, take a while. That sounds fantastic. Mm -hmm. Now, the studio was where you did your initial recording, or? Yeah, all, all, all of this album. All there. Yeah. Oh, boy. Excellent, excellent. Well, let's do our little uh, our little walk around, okay? okay let's yeah. see what's out there. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. That's one of those things when you're on tour like that. I never really thought about it, but I never thought I was a person that missed home. You know, I right. always kind of identified myself as someone wanting to kind of leave and not really caring about that but i do miss people what, what do you think now i definitely miss them i mean i <laughs> and and what i miss is not maybe the city so much honestly but the people in it you know yeah that's definitely what makes it home so this is where i performed not wow, that long ago this place. how big is it this place is pretty big. I don't know how many people that it really fits. Maybe like a 3,000 or something. Uh -huh. But it's, uh, yeah, have pretty, uh, quite a lot of concerts in here. I don't know what it used to be. So 3,000, that's a pretty good crowd anywhere. Um, and we're going to see the places you started as well? Yes. Yeah, which, uh, well, we'll find out about that when we get there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, that's a bit further down here up on a hill, so I'm gonna have to point. I actually wanna buy this thing here, but I'm never gonna have money to do that. I'll show you because this wooden boat that's floating oh, right yeah? here, yeah. That's my dream. I wanna make that into my studio because then the other guy's studios are just right. on the other side of the street. Well, don't say never. We just went to the outdoor gym. <laughs> right, yeah, right, true. Benny owns an island. Never say so. never. <laughs> he owns an island? I, that's oh, I'm right, saying. he has to have like an archipelago thing right. going on, yeah. Of course he does. Of course he owns, right. owns an island. So, well, you know, <laughs> something super. Or not. So, it's so cool. So, well, I, I have to say, you've talked about studios yeah. a bunch since I've been talking with you. Right, you right. love that environment, it seems. I mean, I, I like creating. Not necessarily, though, because sometimes what I find with studios is if you don't... If you're in the same place and you kind of experience your whole array of emotions when you're in the studio, you're yeah. sad, you're super happy. So the walls kind of cling on to that to me sometimes. So, so I think I definitely need to change environments. Right. But um, yeah, I mean, it, that's probably my stage is definitely my favorite, but uh -huh. I do love being in the studio. I forgot my keys and I'm not sure if anyone's there, otherwise I'd show you inside. Yeah. <laughs> 
Well, that's where I've been for three years, four, maybe even. So, now, I, I said, we're crossing from island to island. <laughs> yeah, you right. Said, I never think about that, but that is absolutely what we're no, doing. But what island is that and where are we going? This is the south part of the town, um, and we are going towards the inner kind of part of town, and this is the old town. Oh, okay. So this is how Stockholm looked from the beginning, I guess. This is like where the foundations were laid for this town. Tiny streets. Tiny, tiny, tiny street. I think we even have, now that you say it, like the smallest alley in the Europe. <laughs> I'm, I want to say the world, but that sounds and then like that couldn't be true. But yeah, this is Gamla Storm. All right. We came from, we came from over there <laughs> and we walked down here, but there is something else back on the other island that was really important to you. Yes, that theater right there up on the hill is called Södra Teatern, which is the South Theater and it has a lot of heritage and it has a club called Mosebacke and that was one of my, my first kind of goals in life to perform there. So. What was that club like? It was, it was nice, it's pretty small, it's cozy, it's normally kind of, it's a, like a po artist kind of poetry hub, you know, right around here. So it was very nice. I miss it. Um, I only got to perform there once or twice. Right. That's great. Mm -hmm. So there's a bit of a, when you were first starting out and even now, there's a bit of uh, the dramatic flair in, in your performance style. <laughs> I don't know if it was that dramatic yeah. back in the day, but I don't think I'm that dramatic, though. I just stand still and wear right. red. <laughs> well, that, that could work for you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> That's totally cool. Well, that's great. So that theater, important, another stop. Yes, definitely. Right. So now we're gonna walk down past the water. Uh, we're gonna pass the castle in a couple of museums, actually. That one is the, mod and that's the, sorry, the Museum of Photography. By the boat over right. there is the Museum of Photography. And then we have the Modern Museum and um, the National Museum. Talking about museums, because I had a, a dream to work at a museum once. Ah. So I was like, plan B, tour, if I can't really guy. sing, you know, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, might still happen. This park that we're going to is kind of, I don't know, if I call this Central Park of Stockholm, that makes you think it's a lot bigger than it is. <laughs> it's tiny and there's no grass. <laughs> there's like very little trees going on. But it's this place where my parents really used to hang out when um, we were younger and the restrictions on what you could do in a park weren't so strict. Right, right, right. So they'd, uh, my dad and their friends and sit and play drums oftentimes in this park and drink beer, which is legal now <laughs> to do and we'd hang around there. And uh, yeah, so I've sat quite a lot with my father in that park doing nothing <laughs> all summer long. But it's a nice place. It has a lot of memories. That sounds fantastic. Oh yeah, and this is the castle. Oh yeah. This is where the king lives. I don't think he lives here though anymore. This is where the, uh, this is where the wedding took place, right? Yeah, exactly. It was a wedding a day or two ago. We could walk a little further. There's a fountain and okay. a couple of benches there. So, so mm -hmm. there's been a point to this, an end point to this walk. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and, and it's this park. And tell me about yeah. the significance of, of this. Well, what is this park called? This park is called Kungsträdgården, which is the king's garden. Um, and like I said before, to compare it to, I don't know, big park in U.S. is to make it seem bigger than it is but it's pretty small it's nice and I used to sit here a lot with my dad when I was a kid and when I was a lot older too I'd come and visit him on um, summer breaks and stuff like that we sit right here really yeah and he would he would play drums with his friends that was when we were really small and you could still do that then they put up a whole lot of restrictions and you just hang around here when the weather is even better you can see there's quite a lot of West African and African men mostly actually that gather around here and just hang out ah. so, yeah that's cool. This is, it's a really wonderful place. It was actually the first green space we saw in the city when we were oh. first arrived. So, okay. But it's neat to know it has significance. Yeah, it is. It definitely has something. But very different, you say. Huh? It's very different now. Yeah, from when I was really, really small. Because then people could hang out here and they'd drink beers and, you know, play drums. And I don't know what. Now that doesn't really happen anymore. But it's uh, still a nice little spot. It is. Yeah. Well, thanks for... Uh, Thanks for the both ends of this tour. It was great to watch uh, mm -hmm. where you, you know, where you 
the studios you were in, the different clubs. It was oh, kind of cool. Thank um, you. And uh, have a great uh, rest of the summer and, and come visit us. Thank you, sir. I will. I'll come and visit you guys. Santa Busi, our guest and uh, all part of our sense of place Stockholm today on the World Cafe. Beautiful, sunny Stockholm. Windy Stockholm. <laughs>